how the blending is possible when the resistance is absent because the resistance interferes with the blending but in the absence of resistance then there is that blending and therefore there is that knowing and you are capable of doing that at any time of the day or night we just want to help you to remember that the reason it happened when it did is because you were at your lowest state of resistance true yeah yes I am very much familiar with this resistance part and I'm aware of the of those very moments so I actually choose those nights to allow myself to feel it more but it, there is a deep desire of that experience it inside out throughout the whole day the nice part about that is and we really want you to hear this because there's a tendency to have a sort of extraordinary experience like that where you can feel the wholeness of who you are and what felt to you like the newness of the whole earth experience there's a tendency to want to recreate that experience again but you cannot because you've had that new experience and now you are changed so as it continues it won't feel quite as emphatic as it did the first time because through the first experience you've already adjusted you see this is a way for us to say to you just get used to that happiness and realize that in your wake state you have all kinds of emotional indicators that let you know that you are in just as much of a receiving mode as you were in that coming out of sleep state what's going to happen to you more and more is that you're going to receive the way your inner being feels about things that's really what's happening you see that source within you and so much more in other words it's not just your own inner being it's many inner beings it's many who you have known and not known who have been physical who are now non-physical are interested in what you're interested in in these moments in time and so as you're in that state of allowing you are then able to receive their input on what they are seeing through your eyes we said it the other way we said you're seeing through the eyes of source but really it's source seeing through your eyes and you not blocking it so you get to feel what source feels when source is looking through your eyes now we want to be clear source is always looking through your eyes you couldn't be angry enough or upset enough or hurt enough to disallow source from seeing through your eyes you just wouldn't feel how good it feels to source when source sees through your eyes can you feel the distinction in a powerful way and so what you're asking for is more awareness that this is happening now this is happening now this is happening now if your question is how can I make everybody happy the answer to that is it's not your work but if it is your quest to be a catalyst for happiness with everyone then the singular answer is you must be happy first because in your true alignment everyone whom you hold as your object of attention gets the benefit of you translating pure positive energy right through you and washing it all over them now their receptiveness is not anything that you can ever do anything about and what most humans try to do we were talking about how the receptive mode is here pure positive energy if the cork were floating up there on the surface of the water that's what we mean you can hold the cork under the water that's not what we mean let go of it it will bob right back up there so pure positive energy where your inner being is when you finally made the decision that you were going to do something different that decision was your grid filling in that was you having ask and ask and ask getting the vortex going and going and going and at a moment of little or no resistance that determination came to you and you knew what you were going to do remember how clear you felt in fact you're still feeling sort of clear about it because you were wanting to convince us all of that turning point here and now so turning points 
you like the word turning points turning points are often the grid filling in with an idea that you are now ready for it's not that the idea isn't there it's that you're not ready for the idea it isn't that you're not ready for the idea because you don't want it because you do It's because you're not ready for the idea because you're not a vibrational match to the desire you're a vibrational match to the absence of the desire feel the difference so you ready yourself for what's in your vortex by feeling better and you feel better by leaving out the things that don't feel good and focusing on the things that do feel good so it is this simple take the handful of things that feel good and just run them into the ground well this is the same sort of thing get a handful of those things that are delightful to you and just play the loop again and again and again and again and again let it be your basis of traction let something that delights you be the loop that you play that keeps your grid in this high vibration so that what's in your vortex can show up now and now and now and now and now and do you know what happiness is happiness is being in that place where you're the receiver of the right idea at the right time happiness is being in that place where something occurs to you at the most opportune moment happiness is being at the top of the stairs you're getting ready to walk down you don't know it but your heel is caught in the hem of your pant leg and you are about to take a header down the stairs but the broader part of you knows that and gives you the inspiration to take hold of the railing so when you go to move your foot and can't you're stable that's happiness that's happiness that's alignment happiness is moving in traffic and having an impulse to take this exit for no good reason other than you feel like it or even taking it even though you didn't really mean to because you turned your driving over to your higher power for a moment and you missed the traffic jam or you missed the traffic congestion as a result of an accident all kinds of things like this are happening to you all day every day but when you start deliberately being happy deliberately beating the drum of things that feel good deliberately discerning deliberately molding yourself into better and better feeling places when you do that deliberately and those things happen now you have conscious awareness of it when you get clear-minded like you are and you understand how far you've come and you have and you realize how powerful your desire is and it is and then you deliberately focus upon the strongest desire that you have which you spoke when you first sat down here to be happy 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 meaning to be in alignment meaning to be in control of my own thoughts meaning to be in control of my own vibration meaning to be in vibrational concert with the source within me meaning to be in vibrational concert with everything that I put into my vortex meaning right here right now being in alignment so that I will be the interpreter the manifester the realizer of the best that could happen in this moment that's happiness this moment and this moment and this moment and this moment it's not saving up for a vacation it's not putting up with all this stuff it's not going to work all week long doing stuff I don't want to do so that I can get some money so that I can finally go do something that I do want to do because when you get there to do what you do want to do you're not happy because you haven't been practicing happy at work we know we've been taking a bit of long time here longer than we promised at the beginning but it's so worth contemplating how happy am I how happy can I be how good can I feel what's the best feeling thought that I can find right now what's working in my life what's working out what do I remember that felt good what's happening right now that feels good how general do I need to be you can always find something to feel good about and when you do and when you make that your habit then the actualization of it the realization of it the manifestation of it is so pronounced in your experience that people will be flocking to you and saying what is your secret and you'll say I'm happy and they'll say I know that I can see that that's why I'm asking you what your secret is <laughs> and you say no I was happy before I was happy and they'll say well that doesn't make any sense at all and you'll say well I purged unhappy thoughts from my experience by focusing on happy thoughts well what do you mean well I didn't actually purge them I just started emphasizing the happy thoughts I started making lists of positive aspects I counted my blessings I learned that in church I counted my blessings one by one and the more I focused upon them the more that vibration was mine 
and the more that vibration was mine the more law of attraction put me in the vicinity where I could realize it so life isn't happening to me life is happening from me I'm emanating the signal to which all life is responding so when I get up in the morning I decide how's this day gonna feel I'm gonna feel intuitive I'm gonna feel inspired and I'm gonna feel connected and I'm gonna feel vital and alive and I'm gonna feel happy and I'm gonna feel confident and I'm gonna feel kind I'm gonna feel loving and I'm gonna be at the top of my game I'm gonna feel innovative I'm gonna feel energized I'm gonna feel invigorated I'm gonna feel uh, inspired but I'm going to feel inspired moment by moment I'm gonna feel guided I'm gonna feel worthy I'm gonna feel deserving I'm gonna feel deserving of all of the goodness that has been taught to me all of my life I'm gonna feel deserving of that and I'm gonna demonstrate my deservedness through my happiness time flies and we've reached the end of today's video we hope you had a wonderful time with us Please share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. It means a lot to us. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Abraham Esther Hicks teachings. Thank you and good luck.